Hey everyone, welcome back to Shade Review. In today's video, we are reviewing probably my favorite release of 2023 so far, the Ray-Ban RB0880. But first off, playing today's video sponsor, our own website, ShadeReviewStore.com, the absolute best place to buy designer sunglasses up to 80% off the original MSRP. Again, our website there is ShadeReviewStore.com, check it out. So let's go ahead and pop these sunglasses on face and talk about the dimensions. These are what Ray-Ban calls the small size and and they have 49 millimeter lenses and a 19 millimeter bridge. Now I have no idea why Ray-Ban calls these the small size. These I would consider to be the standard size and they also are produced in what Ray-Ban calls a large size which has 52 millimeter lenses and a 19 millimeter bridge. So only a three millimeter lens size difference between what Ray-Ban calls the small and the large lens size. And again, for today's video, I have on the smaller 49 millimeter lens size which again, I believe is gonna fit most people's faces best. Now I've tried on the larger lens size and I really didn't like the way they looked on my face. I thought they looked a little bit goofy. And unfortunately, I don't have one to show you guys in today's video because I keep selling out of this pair of sunglasses on our website. Uh, but yeah, these are available for, I believe like 40 or $50 off the original MSRP at Shade Review Store. If you are interested in that, I'm gonna leave a link description down below. So these frames are made out of propionate instead of acetate. Now, for those of you who don't know, propionate is a little bit stronger than acetate and it's also a little bit more light weight than acetate as well. The only downside of propionate is uh, they don't feel quite as premium as acetate. They feel very similar to acetate, but they don't quite feel as premium. And then as far as the actual colors of the frame goes as well, you have these absolutely beautiful looking frames, uh, but whenever you get to like a striped Havana style or something uh, with more grain in the frame, propionate is not gonna look quite as good as an acetate lens material would. A propionate uh, looks better for just solid colors. So here we can see the front of these frames are a solid color and that looks really, really beautiful. And then here on the sides, uh, we can see it's more of a grain uh, material here and it still looks really good, don't get me wrong. But in my opinion, it's not gonna look quite as good as an acetate would. Uh, but either way, still a really good looking pair of frames. And then also the construction of propionate is gonna be a little bit different as well. So for example, uh, some parts are actually two different pieces of plastic kind of uh, welded together or kind of mended together, if that kind of makes sense. So you can actually feel here on the rim just a little bit of an inconsistency of like a little bit of a lip. And you're never gonna find that on a pair of acetate frames because a pair of acetate frames comes from one solid chunk of acetate, uh, if you will. So that's definitely something interesting to note. So that makes these frames feel a little bit less quality than something like a Ray-Ban Wayfair uh, as well. But that being said, I still think these frames look really, really good on face. I absolutely love the style of these frames. I think they look really good. They have a painted on Ray-Ban logo here in the top right corner of the lens uh, for authentication purposes. And then a little etched RB logo here in the uh, middle left of the lens as well. And these are all glass lenses and the optical clarity of these is very, very good. They're also going to block 100% of UVA and UVA UVB rays, which is extremely important for the eye health. And these polarized lenses are really, really good. They're going to block 99% of glare, really helping reduce eye strain. Now, if we move down to the outside temples of the frames, we can see a raised Ray-Ban logo here in both the left and the right-hand temple of the frames. Personally, I don't love the look of this logo. I think it makes the frames look a little bit more noisy. I would just like a little uh, metal accent like you'd find in a pair of all over people's frames. Both Ray-Ban, you know, they're a little bit more uh, gaudy, if you will, but still, I think it's a good looking pair of frames, but there's a lot more advertising when it comes to a pair of Ray-Ban sunglasses uh, than it is, of course, all over people's. But like I said earlier, these frames do have all glass lenses. So if you do choose to, you can definitely easily remove uh, the painted on a Ray-Ban logo if you want to do so. You're not going to damage the lens if you're careful because they are glass and glass is very uh, scratch resistant. Now these frames are made in Italy. They're gonna say that here in the inner right temple of the frames, they say Ray-Ban made in Italy K and then UK CA and then polarized as well. Uh, that's kind of the regulatory information uh, there and that's found on all the new pairs of Ray-Ban sunglasses and all of the Luxottica sunglasses actually. And then if we take a look here at the inner left temple of the frames, we can see the model number and the colorway information along with the lead size and the overall width of the frames. And these frames also have very, very nice and premium all metal hinges. And these are actually a seven barrel all metal hinge, the exact same style of hinge found on a pair of Ray-Ban Wayfarers, of course, minus the tilt here, but they feel really, really good when opening up and when closing them. Very, very substantial and nice. And it's really cool to see a seven barrel hinge on this pair of sunglasses. But having a seven barrel hinge 
range on these frames is definitely expected uh, considering the fact uh, that the price tag is around $220 of polarized lenses. They definitely should have a really high quality hinge and they certainly do. Now again, as far as the looks go on face, I think it's look really, really nice. Now these frames from Ray-Ban are actually a re-release and they were originally created back in 1966 and they definitely do have this kind of iconic styling, but really I haven't seen a lot of these vintage frames flying around there. So I don't think these frames were ever too popular, but I absolutely do love the shape of these frames. I think they look really, really good on face. Definitely very kind of modern, even though they were originally created in the 1966, or I should say in 1996. Uh, but yeah, just a really good looking pair of sunglasses uh, that I do like a lot. Now, as far as coverage from the sun goes, unfortunately these frames are not going to offer the best coverage Coverage from the sun. So here up top, we can see there is a really big gap that lets sunlight in unprotected. And then here on the sides, again, there's also a massive gap that does let sunlight in unprotected. So overall, definitely not the most practical pair of Ray-Ban sunglasses, but I do think the looks here make up uh, for the bad coverage. Overall, I think it's a really good pair of sunglasses from Ray-Ban. Again, the full price is that going to be a little bit steep of polarized lenses coming in around $229, but these are available on our website for a big discount off the original MSRP. So if you are interested in picking up a pair of these sunglasses for yourself, I'm going to leave a link in the description down below directly to our own website and also Ray-Ban's official website if you want to see their full lineup of sunglasses as well. Those two links are going to be in the description down below. But that's all I have for you guys in this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to give me a big thumbs up down below. And of course, Course, make sure to hit that subscribe button and then you'll be notified every single time I upload a brand new video just like this one to our YouTube channel. Again, thank you all so much for watching and I'll catch you all in the next one.